Hello everyone, today's video is how to start into handgun competition. I will be covering clubs, type of competitions, weapons, accessories, and ammunition. So let's get started. First up, you have a number of competitions to choose from. You have IDPA, Steel Challenge, USPSA, 22, Glock, special competitions. You have a lot of competitions and without counting the NRA uh, sponsors competition. But most of all, you have to find a club. Clubs are as close to two minutes from your house to two hours and not every club offer everything. So if you find a club five minutes from your house that offers USPSA, you might be more inclined to join them. Now, if you have a variety of clubs or clubs offering different kind of shootings, my suggestion is to start with still challenges because it, with still challenges, you shoot one target at a time as fast as you can. But all you have to do is shoot one shot as USPSA is multiple shot same thing for IDPA. On the other hand, if you want to compete because you are concealed carrying, then IDPA is your best bet, where it's more emphasized to real life situations and you are going to train with your concealed carry weapon. Then you have USPSA. For USPSA, you set yourself a course of fire that you have to remember. Then you have to move fast, you have to shoot fast, you have to shoot accurately so it's not very easy for beginners but it is very popular so it's worth checking out now we are getting into the handgun choice at first you want to use what you already own and then if you realize you do like competition that you want to keep it up then you are going to invest into a different handgun a handgun more suitable for shooting for competition it can be an inexpensive handgun or very expensive handgun but you want a handgun which has a large aftermarket parts you want parts for better grips better trigger extended magazine release extended slide release better sights etc so look for those which are usually 911 frames glock cz smith and wesson ruger and a few others. Do not choose a handgun that you really like and has very little aftermarket. You will end up get rid of that gun and go back to something more popular. Then you have accessories. The basic minimum for accessories will be a holster for your handgun. Then you can move on to a belt and magazine holders. Then also a trolley to carry around all that equipment. But that would be about it. So at first, if you are going to do Steel Challenge or IDPA, all you need is a holster. And finally, you have ammunition. And to start with, you are going to pick up some starboard ammunition. And that will do fine, unless you already reload. Now, if you get hooked by the competition, it is highly suggested to reload. Not because you are going to save money, which you will do, but you are going to start to shoot a lot more so you are going to spend a lot more money. Reloading also allows you to have the perfect round for you and your handgun, which will allow you to load your round for that specific competition requirement, but also to keep the load of powder to a minimum to keep the recoil of your gun also to a minimum. So reloading will have to happen. Now reloading can be expensive if you shoot a lot. If you are going to get involved in competition, you are going to want to train and train seriously with live rounds or with dry firing and a lot of dry firing. Dry firing is free. It does not put much wear and tear on your gun, but the amount of knowledge you are going to gain into dry firing is amazing. You need to train and train and train. I have seen people with inexpensive handgun beating people with very expensive handguns because the person with inexpensive handgun was training with it as the people with expensive handgun thought everything was in the gun and were not training. 
what is happening is 80% of your score will be because of your training. 10 to 15% will be on your hangen. Cheap hangen being 10, expensive hangen will be 15. So not much to gain here. And the last 5% will be on ammunition. But 80% is your training. The more you train, live fire, dry fire, the more knowledge between you and your handgun will be acquired. I have seen people going with expensive $1,500 handgun, going to competition, not doing very well, coming back behind the line and saying, oh, my trigger is terrible, or my sights are not good. I'm going to get another one. No, that will not do anything. The secret is training, training, and training. As we say, training makes perfect. Yes, it does. Dry firing is one of them. Dry firing will increase your speed without shooting any ammo, will increase your pulling on the trigger, help you have a quick sight acquisition on your handgun. Train, 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 because muscle memory is everything. We are coming now to the end of this video. I hope this will give you an idea of what is handgun competition, how to get into it, what might be the cost of it. You can go as cheap as using the handgun you have, the cost of a holster, yes, maybe 60 bucks or less, as much as in the thousand and thousand of dollars if you are hooked, if you go into heavy competition, yes, but that's like anything, then it becomes your hobby. But check it out, it is well worth it. Until next time, see you guys.